Greetings, Grapple fans. It's Mike Quackenbush here on Free Match Monday, and we're flashing back to our April card, Revenge of the Lawn Gnomes. Just prior to the opening bell of this contest, the increasingly embittered winged ring warrior, Icarus, chose to endorse not a Wrestle Factory graduate, but instead, Tony Deppen. As off to Warren Barstow, looking to pick up his third point against Tony Deppen. He was a student quite some years ago. He left and joined the police academy. Now he's back as a full-time professional wrestler. But this is an example. This is what I'm saying. This is soft. Look at the smile on his face. Once he takes those sunglasses off, you'll see in his eyes, he just is soft. That's all he is. He needs to toughen up. But right now, I have a man with killer instinct in the ring. I have a man who can get the job done. Mr. Tony Depp. Well, let's see if Tony Devin can get the job done. I don't understand how you could say Officer Warren Barksdale is soft when he walks in with two points. He, he has the two points, and winning and losing doesn't make for a killer instinct. Wins, losses, that's not what it takes to be ruthless. That's not what it takes to have an aggression on a level so high that when another man looks at you, you can see him shake a little bit. That's what Tony Devin has. You look that man in the eyes and you shake a little bit. Your pinky trembles because deep down you know he is an alpha male. Well, he's got him back. He shoves him off. Just sidesteps him there. Officer Warren Barksdale owning the ring right now. Not sure what's going on here. He said he knows the law. Great, the police officer, he knows the law. How about he gets in the ring and he wrestles like a professional? Who did just shove the referee? Shoving the referee. That right there, Betsy Ross, another student of the Wrestle Factory. You can see right there, she's shoved by a professional wrestler. That's no authority. She doesn't get in his face. Barksdale's got him up. And again. But he's taking his time. He's not staying on his man. Look, he's smiling at the audience. That is not a man with any aggression. That is a man who's going to come up to me later and be like, oh, hey, Icarus, uh, was, I, was, you know, was I up there? You know, was I too soft out there? And I'm going to say, go back and watch your match. Go back and watch the tape and look at all the hesitation. Look at all the smiling. And that's what you get. That's what you get right there when you're not taking your job seriously, when you're not doing what you should be doing to win the match, to destroy your opponent. As you see now, trying to get the feeling back in his hands, you might be right, he may have taken too much time, didn't capitalize on his opportunity here. I, I don't appreciate you saying I may be right. Uh, I am actually correct every single time. There was only once in my entire life that I was wrong, but it turns out I was mistaken. Okay, and we're working the arm now as Tony Depp and firing away. Look at this, look at Tony staying on Barksdale. Tony's going after that arm. He's like a dog with a bone. Firing away on that arm. That arm has just become a bullseye. He's in the corner with him now. Got that arm once again, staying on it. There we go. Using the ropes like a weapon right now. Anything in that ring can be a weapon. You have to realize that. Anything that you don't bring into the ring is a weapon. Your hands, your feet, your knees, your elbow, your head, the ropes, the turnbuckles, all those little dust particles that the students didn't vacuum up, those are weapons. Tony Devitt just bit Officer Warren Barksdale, and you're gonna tell me that you agree with that action? If you go back to my previous statement, I'm gonna, I'm gonna once again refer to you just like I do the students. Go back and watch the tape. Listen to what I said. Anything in that ring is a weapon. Is Are his teeth a weapon? You're right there. All right, well, Officer Warren Barksdale battling back from his knees, though. Listen to those chops. Oh, I hear him. Trying to get behind. Big clothesline. And again, back to that arm. Back to the arm. But as he's using that arm, he's also slamming him face first into the mat. So it's a, it's a one-two combination. He can either break his arm, he can either go after the orbital bone, and he can fracture that. 
Tony Deppin, not only a man who can take apart an opponent piece by piece and destroy him, but also has a game plan. Right now, Tony Deppin is playing chess, while Officer Warren Barksdale is merely playing a game of checkers. Barksdale needs to get to the ropes. Look at the torque on that arm! I like the word torque. Just slamming it down, the damage having been done. That's what you see. That's a ruthless man. That's an aggressive man. That's a man with a killer instinct. Look at him just on that arm, just over and over again, not letting up. Takes him down. He's gonna build some momentum. Right back to the arm. He got in Officer Warren Barksdale's head. He got in his head. He made him think, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a nice blow to the back. So Orn Barksdale actually takes a breath out. He gets all the air out of his body, expecting that kick. But what does he do? He goes back to the arm, making sure that he doesn't have the breath to squeeze his arm back and contract his muscles. Bruce Cullen covered there, but he's able to kick out. There's still fight in Barksdale, you have to admit that. I like Tony Depp in style there. You kick out of my hole, I kick you back. A kick for a kick. Barksdale has spent a lot of this match trying to get back to his feet. Yeah, exactly. He's been trying to get back to his feet. He hasn't been standing his ground. He's been on the ground for most of this entire match. Depp's just absorbing a lot of blows now. Barksdale building momentum. Right back on his feet. Tony Deppin right back to his feet. Right back to the arm. Oh! That was a picture perfect drop kick right to the arm. I'm gonna take that drop kick. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take that drop kick. I'm gonna screenshot it. I'm gonna go down to my local printer, get a nice eight by 10, then go to a frame store. I'm gonna frame that drop kick and I'm gonna put that right above my fire mantle. That way everyone who comes to my abode will see what a real aggressive, what a real man with killer instincts does when it comes to his foot and other people's faces. Devin, it looks like he pulled down the knee pad. Barstow's gonna roll him up! Rolls, roll it all the way through! Up and down! Barstow's gotta capitalize! This could be his third point! Tony Deppin wisely rolling to the stomach. You can't be pinned, belly button down. Shoulder blades need to be up. Tony Deppin might be out right now, but he has the wherewithal to roll to his stomach, to not let his shoulders be exposed to that mat. That's a man who knows what he's doing. Barksdale still recovering. Gives him the boot. Got him up! Again, right back to that arm. He couldn't hold him up there. Slams him right down on his face. And that look, he's just, he's an animal right now. He's just hunting his prey, he's stalking him. Barksdale's going to the ropes. Well, he's wouldn't not... you say that was smart? You can't be pinned if you're tied up in the ropes? He can't be pinned if he's tied up in the ropes, but he needs to stay on his man. Even right now, he's crawling away from him. Why is he backing away? Oh! That exposed kneecap that right on the shot of the head! That is it! Ladies and gentlemen, a man with a killer instinct, Mr. Tony. Loser!